Hello and how are you, everyone? Are you tired of keep getting the BSOD, the so-called blue screens of death, on Windows like me? So, why not try another operating system for a change? In this tutorial, I will guide you on how to install Mac OS 10.15 Catalina Hackintosh on your PC without using any Mac OS beforehand or any virtual virtual machine. So we will be using only Windows 10 to prepare the Mac OS Catalina installer. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to follow my channel. First of all, we need 16 gigabytes or more USB flash drive. Windows 10 or any Windows version. I recommend to have at least an i5 or i7 Intel processor with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM and 1 or 2 gigabytes for the graphics memory. For the other hardware compatibility, just try what you already have. Then determine if there is a need either to resolve the problem or to look for another compatible hardware. Then download the following, bootloader or EFI folder. Clover configurator. Mac OS 10.15 Catalina DMG file. 7-zip for Windows. Baragon partition manager free edition for Windows. Transmac for Windows. Kext files for audio, LAN, etc. And other useful Mac applications, which are optional. You can download all these files from links I included in the description. This tutorial is divided into three parts to complete successfully this installation. The first part is the pre-installation process which involves the creation of the bootable USB Mac OS Catalina installer. The second part is BIOS or UEFI configuration followed by the Mac OS installation. And the last part is the post-installation process which comprises the Clover configuration and the possible driver installations. Here we go. Let us proceed to part 1. The pre-installation process. After you have downloaded all the required files, install the following applications to your PC, the 7-zip, the Paragon Partition Manager Free Edition and the Transmac. Now, right-click on macOS.Catalina DMG file and select 7-zip. Open Archive. And open the macOS.Catalina.10.15 folder. Then open the install macOS Catalina.app folder, and open the contents folder. Right click on shared support. And select copy to. Then choose the destination where you want this folder be copied to. The click OK. So the shared support folder will be now extracted to your PC. So after you extracted the shared support folder, insert your USB flash drive. Right click on Transmac application. And run it as the administrator. Click yes and wait for the countdown. Then hit run. Locate your flash drive. And right click on that USB drive in the left side panel, then select restore with disk image. Select yes and hit the DMG file by clicking on the three dots button. So go ahead and select base system.dmg file inside the shared support folder you just extracted previously, click open. And then click OK. The DMG file will now be burned to the drive you specified as a GPT volume. The base system image file will make your flash drive bootable. Close Transmac after you finish restoring the base system image file to your flash drive. And run as administrator the Paragon Partition Manage 14 free application by right clicking on it. Then select from the welcome screen, when open the first time after installation, the Partition Manager free switch to full scale launcher. Now we have to resize the base system partition because it is only 1 GB or so, while the whole Mac OS installer has more than 8 GB. All you have to do is to right click on that base system partition and select move or resize partition. Drag the right end part of that 1 GB partition to the right end to overwrite this unallocated partition. Then create at least 200 MB on free space before. Click enter. Then yes. 
So go ahead, right click on the 200 megabytes partition and create a FAT32 system, name the volume as EFI and specify a drive letter. Then click yes. Now click apply up here. Then wait the process until you will see the close icon. You can now close the partition manager application. Attention. A new window will appear asking to format disk. Just click on cancel. Therefore, do not format the disk anymore. Now right click and run as administrator once again the Transmac application and wait for the countdown. Then hit run. Select the USB flash drive where the Mac OS base system volume is located. Go to Mac OS base system. Open install Mac OS Catalina app. Choose contents folder and right click on the right panel free space and choose copy here. So locate and choose the whole shared support folder, the one we extracted previously, then copy. When it is done, close the Transmac application. To open the 200 MB CFI volume, copy and paste to the root directory the whole EFI folder. The Clover configurator, the kext files and the other macOS applications to this drive. Congratulations, till this step. You are completely ready to boot your PC and install macOS 10.15 Catalina.